We're so glad you're here with us. I'm Erin Morgan. News 2 is your local election headquarters and the special Democratic primary election for the South Carolina Senate 42 seat is now narrowed down to two candidates. That's right. There were three candidates on the Democratic ticket, but no one reached more than 50% required to secure the primary nomination. News 2's Jordan Ziopa joins us in the studio with more information. And Jordan, tell us more about the upcoming runoff election in just about two weeks, right? Carolyn, that's right. State Representatives Wendell Gilliard and Dion Tedder are back on the campaign trail today, preparing for the runoff election in two weeks. Now, I spoke with the candidates to see how they plan to get the votes they need to be on the ballot in November. The race to the Democratic nomination for the South Carolina Senate 42 seat is not over yet. I'm elated first the turnout uh, because as you well know they almost outspent us 10 to 1. We're excited. Uh, what the numbers demonstrate is that uh, Charleston is, is ready for a new generation of leadership. State Representatives Wendell Gilliard and Dion Tedder are competing in the runoff election on September 19th, following the unofficial results of the special primary election on Tuesday. Neither candidate reached the percentage of votes needed to be declared the winner. One candidate has to reach at least 50% plus one of the vote. According to the unofficial results, Representative Gilliard received nearly 47 percent of the votes. He also led the race among Charleston County voters. He says he will continue his grassroots approach to his campaign ahead of the runoff. You keep it real. You go to where the people are. You talk to people, and I've been doing that all my life, really. Nearly 39% of total votes went to Representative Tedder, who had a close lead in Dorchester County. He said he planned to get back to work Wednesday, knocking on doors and encouraging voters to show up in two weeks. I spoke to him Tuesday night as we watched the results come in. You know, my record speaks for itself and getting things done and being able to work across the aisle uh, I, I think this is an opportunity for uh, a younger generation. Gilliard is coming to the race with years of experience in politics, which he pointed to as a way to win over voters. That says a lot in politics. Okay, experience does matter. If Tedder wins, he says he will be the youngest state senator in South Carolina at the age of 33. That's encouraging for young people. Um, so my message is just that uh, we got work to do and we're ready to start, fired up and ready to go. Representative Gilliard says if elected, he will focus on teacher retention, better wages and pension for state employees and gun violence. Representative Tedder says he will fight for women's rights, public education, housing and criminal justice reform. Both candidates are backing the hate crimes bill. Reporting live in the studio, I'm Jordan Sayopa. Count on two.